Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I'd try my hand at something a little different and I struggled with it, to be honest, with the perspective and the water. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and please give me a thumbs up if you do and thank you very much for watching. I made my sketch on tracing paper as I usually do and I'm using um, a canvas panel that had a failure and I've just scrubbed acrylic paint over it. Here's my usual palette of water mixable oils. I have titanium white, cad yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. I've attempted a similar picture to this earlier in the week. I'm very late uploading um, because of that picture and I lost the perspective lines of the long boat or actually they're called narrow boats and um, so I mean this is my second attempt at a similar picture so I had to adjust it a little bit so we have uh, these two boats have obviously just come through the lock, which is here. This guy is tying up, and these people are moving on a little bit. They're in the position to um, drive their boat forward. Perhaps they're going to, to moor a little further up. Well, I managed to paint that entire boat without the video on. So, I apologize for that. And I'm going to paint the other boat green. This one is not finished, it's just to color paint on the canvas. So this one is gonna be red and green, which are pretty traditional colors with uh, canal boats. Now we're looking down on these boats and the closer the, the, the closest part of the boat is going to be the widest part and then it narrows towards the vanishing point which is why it appears much narrower um, the further away it is I hope that makes sense I only have a fine grasp of perspective myself I suggest you google it as I said I, I've tried it once before this week it's taken me all week but I wanted to do something um, different it's a very blue green I might actually go over that mixed in some yellow, some cad yellow light. I also want to say that I don't do these as tutorials. I'm not telling you how to paint. You have to discover your art for yourself. I'm just sharing with you the paintings that I do each week. Um, I learn every time I paint something and maybe you'll get some good tips too. Who knows, maybe not. But anyway, I hope you enjoy and I please hit the like button if you do and hit the subscribe button because that helps the algorithm find me. I like to challenge myself every now and then and this painting turned out too much water. That turned out pretty okay. Um, but I can never um, guarantee how something is going to turn out obviously so you will see some um, failures from time to time I suppose if I put them up or I might hide them and not put them up at all I have to add that these canal boats were a real struggle for me We're using a round today because these are such um, fiddly shapes and you've just got to keep that perspective and I lost it the last time I tried to paint one of these which was just earlier this week so I'm having to be extra careful I find.
The roofs are usually black and they look like they're made with some kind of um, asphalt. I honestly don't know how they're constructed. I did Google that and nowadays they're made of steel. They might always have been. I do know that some of the very old ones are constructed of wood. I don't know what type, probably oak since it's England. England has a very extensive system of canals and they were used for industrial purposes uh, back in the, I don't know when they were dug, maybe the 17th or 18th century onwards, right up until um, I think the early part of the 19th century. And nowadays um, people live on them permanently or part time and uh, holiday makers rent them or buy them for their own use. And it's um, quite a thing uh, to own a um, narrow boat, they're called. And uh, it's a beautiful system, goes through some lovely, lovely countryside. Um, if I were younger, it would definitely be something I would like to do. After modern transportation systems took over, um, the canals fell into disrepair and uh, they were like that for quite a long time. People threw rubbish in them and dumped um, bicycles and goodness knows what, all kinds of trash in those canals and um, some of them were partially drained and overgrown and they most of the system i think maybe all of the system has been reclaimed and repaired and is now a beautiful part of the british countryside Taking a little paint off. Just getting paint on the canvas at this point. Okay. I've got some grey. I'm going to add a little raw sienna to it. And I'm just going to put in these tree trunks, just suggesting them. I have to put in all the details while I remember they're there. And I haven't covered them up. And I'm going to put in the uh, canal side. This is my mid-tone and um, it'll be lighter and darker. I think that's too high, but that's okay. I'll cover it with some green. and crimson into my green and a little titanium whoops I've covered my hand
don't want to cover him up. I'm going to put a reflection in That's a bit definite. We'll call it okay for now. Okay, I think we could do a little better with that uh, wall here. Now, I haven't done anything really with my um, water or anything else. I mixed sap green, cad yellow light, a tiny amount of lizard crimson and some, um, that's it. And I'm going to sort of I've mixed um, alizarin with a little French ultramarine and some titanium to give me a um, sort of light lavender colour. I'm 
I'm using raw sienna and titanium. And there's pink left in my brush. I'm not sure about that pink. She's got her hand resting on the roof. So is he. That's all a bit bright. Okay, that skin color that I had on my brush, I just mixed some more raw sienna in it. And I'm putting paint just a little more thickly on these doors, which are standing open. They're shutters, really. I'm going to use that around my windows on this one. going to pick up some cad yellow light and sort of I'm going to um, make some marks across here here I might have to do that a little bit better because that looks like nothing but usually there's this panel on the side of a long boat or a um, narrow boat and um, it has the registration port and the name they've given it, like Lazy Days or whatever their thing might be. I'm, I have to do that a little bit better, but I kind of like that color. So I'm going to lighten it everywhere with that yellow. I do like that. This one is looking dull by comparison. So I'll give this gal some blonde hair. lady up here. I'm assuming it's a lady. It's probably not because the gals always jump out of the boats and um, do the tie up and the guys are sort of steering. Must also happen the other way around I guess. So we'll say this is a guy. I'll give him a funny hat. going on there. And we'll give this guy blue jeans. roof a little bit, especially on this side. I'm going to put some dark
and some light. Water is sort of a greenish brown, isn't it, when it's dark? I don't know, I have to work on the water. I don't like that. I'm going to use a damp tissue. I like the fact that I had the um, blue underneath. I think that helps quite a bit. I have to leave it and see what it looks like. I think that wall would reflect as well as the boat. Well, I think I just have to work on it. It doesn't look good at the moment. So I'm going to dab in some sort of dark. I think a bit more light here and here. Maybe some light spots down here. And some lighter greens on the trees. stick. I'm going to stick some blue in here. Doesn't look very blue, does it? I think I just have to keep working on that wall. I think 
there's a towpath here. Or maybe not a towpath, but a path or something. Not sure. really should be a sort of more of a um, stung colour, I don't know. Keep working at it till I get where I want to be. These um, locks are made of massive wooden logs. Or they were 40 years ago when I went through them. Although actually the locks that I went through were in Canada on the Rideau um, Canal system, which was a system of lakes and canals. And the locks there are massive, like twice the size of anything on the British um, canal system. Um, and I honestly don't know about the British system except from what I've seen on YouTube. And if you'd like to see those, there, there are some wonderful YouTube videos on narrow boats and, and the English canal system. At this stage I'm just picking away at it and um, I'm really not happy with the water and I'm adding lights and darks to other details in the painting and um, really that's the way I paint. We could just make this a window. I think that might look a little bit better. I'm going to put a little more light in here too. lost the stove pipe here. I think it was there. I've seen some that have wood burning stoves or perhaps they burn um, other fuel, I'm not sure what they burn. And uh, I've seen a couple that had um, central heating um, radiators. So I think um, these boats, new and old, are quite efficient and insulated. People can live on them all year round. Um, and British winters can get quite um, chilly, or well, quite cold in fact. Um, they do have a little snow and the um, canals stretch from the south of England to the north of England and the temperature can vary quite a bit. So, But they are well heated and well renovated.
Well, the old ones are well renovated and the new ones well built, I guess. A little bit too much water in there. Just using this big old um, bristle brush that I have. Mixing some cad and I'm going to put on some lights. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a little while, think about it, have a cup of tea and come back and see what else I need to do. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. But um, I have to think about it. I'm going to put some more light in the water. I'm sort of mixing a little sort of greenish yellow in. Adding some tailor to the grass as well. Mixing it with a little yellow. The, the Taylor colours sort of punch the colour up a little bit. I wonder if that would work in the water, if we put a little in the water. I think it helps quite a bit. Okay, let's try a little Taylor Blue. I think that's livened it up quite a lot actually. Oh, I think that looks better. I think that looks more watery.
I'm happier with that. I'm going to work on the shadow under the trees. I'm using ultramarine blue, French ultramarine blue and raw umber for the shadow under the trees. I might put a red hat on this person, whoops. I don't know about that. Maybe it looks like red hair, what do you think? I think it shows up, whatever it is, hat or hair. I think it shows up better. I'm going to put more light around here, just little dabs. Maybe almost completely white on the tops of these trees, just little bits. I really like what the Taylor Blue and Taylor Green do for painting. It really sort of livens things up a lot. I like a, a little colour in my shadows. I think that looks a lot better. going to sort of suggest that this is called Lazy Days. I think it's actually quite hard work. Of course it doesn't do anything. Can't actually see what it is. But it is written. I'm going to sign it because I usually forget to do that, but I might come back. That's just too big. So where's my... Okay. 
that's my rigger. I'm going to have to do this without anyone watching because then I can get close enough to it. There we are. Does that look like 20? Okay, that doesn't really look very good, but it will do. I feel that there I will probably come back and do some things to it but we'll see. So I brightened up the boats a little bit and I messed around with the water which I think has improved I hope it is I hope you enjoyed the video and please give me a thumbs up if you did and hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.